What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. And if you don't know who I am, I, I basically like Pokemon. That's what I do, the majority of stuff on the channel, but I got some other shit that I fuck with as well. But today, we are here for the debut of the Wi-Fi battles on my channel. They've been absent for quite a long time. I did a couple of trials back maybe like a month or two ago, but the Wi-Fi battles are finally complete. There are a lot of things I wanted to get out the way, a lot of testing, speculation. So I really give you a heartfelt apology right now if you were one of those people that was just waiting hand and foot for my Wi-Fi battles to come out. They're finally here, post-narrated. It requires a little bit more work than live battles, but it definitely is worth it for the end product. Cinematic as usual. I'm really happy to finally have this rolling out and the format of my Wi-Fi battles is going to be changing drastically from what it used to be and I think you guys are really going to like the new setup that I have for it. Anyways, today, as you've seen from that amazingly sexy intro in the beginning, we have us an opponent who has such significance to me. Basically, the opponent that I'm going against today is RU Brown XP, who was one of the biggest influences on me to start my YouTube channel a year ago or even further back, two years ago, when I had my first YouTube channel, because there was one before this one called Etika World Network, this one's called EW Network, even though it's the same thing. But anyways, this guy was a massive influence to me and what helped to get me to where I am today. And so when I saw that he came back to YouTube five days ago, there was no way that I could not have him be in the first Wi-Fi battle. So I kind of changed plans up a little bit. We did a lot of preparation, you know, a lot of stuff was done in order to get things right. So uh, we have a series going up against Are You Brown XP. We're gonna break him into the game really nicely. So I hope you guys are excited for that. You're about to watch me battle somebody who was a major inspiration to me. And of course, he's in the description. So check his channel out below. Let's try to see if we can get him off to a good start. But anyways, I've been rambling on for quite a bit. I'm really excited to have this be my first post narrated Wi-Fi battle in so long. I, I hope I'm not rusty at this shit because it's been a quite a long time so I hope I still got the juice. But anyways, um, this is such a throwback. This, it's been a while. Alright, let's get into it right now. So, um, this is crazy man. Are you Brown starts off with Rotom Wash and I start off with my Tyranitar. This is the same team that I've been using on Pokemon Showdown for quite a while now. And so, I'm pretty much used to these guys, you know? They work out really well in my favor for a lot of the battles that I have with them. I'm really I'm really kind of adjusted to how well they can do and what situations they can take damage in and where I want them and whatnot. So he's going against a quite well seasoned team and he, he's got a pretty threatening team on his end as you can see there. So anyways, I've been rambling on. I go into my Gore guys, Maleficent in the building and I figured that that was the best move because I'd be able to take whatever Rotom wants to do and I don't mind the burn as much. And plus, since I have the Sandstorm going on, I want to be able to get some residual damage on all this Pokemon sense. I don't know, I mean, besides the Rotom and maybe the Landorus, I don't really see the Pokemon carrying leftovers too much and especially this Greninja. So whatever, the Sandstorm is good. I'm able to protect stall him a little bit, but of course I don't want to stay in on this Greninja because the Dark Pulse is going to totally eviscerate Maleficent. Mal How do you say that fucking name? Maleficent? 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 I don't know, but either way, it's a sexy ass Pokemon. I love Gorgas with a passion, as some of you guys may just know, but Gorgas cannot stay in there, so Tyranitar goes in, absorb the Dark Pulse from the Greninja, eats it up with no problem. But one thing that I did, this is going to be a mistake that you guys rip me for because for some reason I thought that U-Turn was neutral on Tyranitar because Rock resists Bug, but Rock does not resist Bug obviously. The U-Turn does a ton of damage to me and plus I predict wrong thinking that the Greninja is going to stay in and probably try to go for a water move on me and I tried to go for the Thunder Wave but he switched out, well u turned out into his Lando. But this is good because I know he's probably not going to switch Lando out because he wants to get them stealthies up. I use this as an opportunity to go for that Ice Beam on my Tyranitar and totally take out Lando. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a special offensive Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Well, then again, it's max special defense and max special defense. So I'm kind of, it's kind of a little bit of an odd set, but he comes back in there with Greninja now. And no one really wants to come in, especially considering that his stealth box is already up. I don't think anybody would be willing to take two surfs from a Life Orb Greninja. This thing is one of the biggest threats in the game, as you all well know. But I'll be able to come in with my Mega Blastoise now, and I should be able to take one hit from this guy, no problem. But of course, he most likely knows that too. Are you Brown XP is not an inexperienced battler by any means. He just hasn't been on the YouTube scene lately. So there's no way he's gonna pull that bullshit. But here I make one of the stupidest moves in the game. I go for an Aura Sphere, just feeling like it would be the most solid option. Just just in case Greninja did stay in, because if he did stay in and he went for like a Grass Knot or something, I, I think I would be able to live with, with a smidgen, 
but I wouldn't want to go for like a I don't know. I wouldn't want to go for a dark pulse in case he did go for the dark move. It, it, it was kind of it was it was bad thinking on my part. But his Aegis Slash was able to take the Aura Sphere no problem. And then he goes into his Azumarill, who will obviously be able to take whatever Blastoise wants to do, Mega Blastoise that is. So I see this as an opportunity to go into Maleficent. But Maleficent, even though it's max HP, max defense, I'm not able to take the play rough in the Azumarill too well. It's Choice Bandit, of course. So I go for the Protect to try to stall him out, probably get some more life over. Um, excuse me, leftovers recovery. And he goes into his Aegis Slash which is a great switch in form, but I see this as an opportunity to go for a will o -Wisp because, you know, considering that Age Slash are mostly physical, this shouldn't be a problem, right? Well, he reveals that he's got Shadow Ball, he tees balls, he teabags the shit out of Maleficent, she gets it right up the mouth and that's the end of her, so, you know, I, you know, I always get thrown off by Age Slash, as soon as I see them, I think physical, 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 but they can run around with Shadow Ball and they have really high special attack too, so I think that's a little bit unfair, but whatever, whatever, it's a sword, how does a sword have special attack, but whatever. The guy takes out Maleficent and you know, it kind of sucks, but not too much because he is burned. He does have some residual damage and plus with Mega Blastoise in there, the Dark Pulses are going to have this guy on the ropes, even to the point where I fucking get the flinch. All right, I acknowledge that was some lucky shit. Like that, <laughs> that was so lucky on my end. But you know what, hey, you can't control the axe. I guess this guy tries to get in what little damage he can. He goes for the Shadow Sneak. I just go for the Skull trying to be safe. In case Azumarill came in, I wouldn't mind having to burn on that thing. Since I wouldn't, since, I mean, when you consider all my other moves, Azumarill gets hit pretty much with um, everything. Not very effective because I got Skull, I got Dark Pulse, I got Orange Spear, so Skull was the best option there. But I do lose my Mega Blastoise. I was hoping that he would be able to live the Volt Switch with the Smidgen so that I could go for the Rapid Spin and get rid of those rocks so that my Darmanitan could come in real easy. But sadly, I'm not, so I have to deal with those rocks shoving themselves up my Gyarados' ass and my Darmanitan. Everyone, everyone's gonna not appreciate those rocks, even my Haxor. So, anyways. Now, I make another foolish play, and I decide to go for the Thunder Wave, even though the Rotom Wash Switch was pretty damn obvious. So, that, you see, I'm playing really badly here. Arya Brown kind of had me on the ropes a little bit, because he's making some very offensive plays. The U-turn, the Volt, the, the Volt Turning strategy kind of has me on the ropes here. Now, considering that I had to give somebody up, and I didn't want to give up my Gyarados yet, because I could use this guy for phasing later on, and you guys are going to see later on in this game that Gyarados puts work in. You'll see, but anyways, I figured that Shane Diesel, <laughs> Shane, Shane Diesel, my Darmanitan, would be the most expendable, you know? I wouldn't want to lose him or Haxorus, but considering that I'm running low on Pokemon, I had to give out Shane for the Volt Switch because I did not want Gyarados taking that. He goes into his Azumarill, and with the Intimidate, me being a max special defense, max HP Gyarados, I'll be able to take whatever Azumarill wants to go for, and the Aqua Jet did nothing. Now, I went for the Roar on the Azumarill, or I, I, I'm sorry, I missed that turn, but I basically went for the roar. This guy's gonna go for the U-turn here. And of course the obvious switch in is going to be his Rotom Wash. But that's obvious to the point where I can kind of see it coming as well. I go for the roar again. And at this point, I'm just going to do my best to try to get Entry Hazard damage racked up on this Greninja because I want him to be to the point where I can slow this guy down. Because if I'm able to take out this Greninja, then I might just have a chance with Shane Diesel coming in there because he still has the me um, the Scizor, who's most likely going to be his Mega in the whole group. So I decide now that instead of going for the roar, this guy most likely predicted and tried to take me out with, his, with some of his special moves, but I have a lot of special defense. I'll be able to take it really well. I live the dark pull. No, no, I live the. Um, I live the Ice Beam, I go for the Thunder Wave, slow him down, that way I can get some more leftovers recovery, and then I outspeed him next turn, hit him with the Waterfall, that's the end of the Greninja, that's really good because now he really, he doesn't really have a fast Pokemon, but I now have a dead Gyarados because nobody else wanted to switch in on the Volt Switch and Stealth Rocks damage, although it's kind of questionable, maybe I should have given him Darmanitan at that point, but I just didn't see a point since Gyarados would be dead on switch in anyways, so... He takes out Gyarados, but I see this as a chance now to go into Haxorus, who's actually a Life Orb set, and I do carry the Poison Jab, like a lot of Haxorus do nowadays, just because of those fucking theories. Now, he decides to go into his Scizor here, who's going to be his Mega, no doubt about it. And I'm kind of in a bad position here now, because I have my Haxorus and my Dermanitan left, he has his Rotom and his Scizor left, 
This Earthquake, even though it's powered up by the Life Orb, it's not going to do anything to the Scizor. And I know for a fact that his Scizor is max HP, max defense. So this thing, after setting up a Sword Dance, is going to be damn near almost impossible to take out. Even with Shane Diesel coming in, those Stealth Rocks are going to ruin my shit. And even if the Stealth Rocks didn't, he already has a Sword Dance behind a Technician powered up Bullet Punch. So that was going to be the end of me. So on a 2-0 defeat, Arya Brown starts off this series really strong with the first win. It, it was a damn good game though, you know, it definitely brought me back into it. I hadn't played Showdown for a while, so I didn't really have too much practice beforehand. I kind of just jumped in there with the team I had been using, and he definitely brought the heat in, you know. I was, a, I, I'll admit, Ari Brown, I was sleeping on you a little bit, dude, because I was kind of saying, you know, it's been a while since this guy's uploaded videos to YouTube, but that doesn't mean that he hasn't played the game, so lessons learned there. It was a really good game, though. I enjoyed it thoroughly, and it's great to see Ari Brown back in the building, you know. He really was just a huge help for me when the whole Pokemon Mosh Pit beta was going on. He helped me get through the trials and whatnot, and he even suggested me for the main channel. You know, old stuff that some of you guys probably don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, but it just was really significant, man. I really want to thank you for that. And I hope you guys who watch the video are looking forward to the next games in the series that we're having, you know? So, like you saw in the beginning, this is round one, but we got another round going, and if I win that one, then we'll go for another one. It's gonna be crazy, man! You guys are about to see Wi-Fi Battles done in a way that you have not seen before, and I hope you guys are as amped up for it as I am. I'm going to do my best to bring you the best quality I can. I'm trying to put this whole thing on the map, and, you know, it's thanks to dudes like you that I'm able to do what I do, and I just hope that the, I hope that the support and the love continues to flow from you guys, but but I'm gonna stop being a bitch now. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next video. Are you brown, man? I I I'll catch your ass round two, man. You got it, man. I you got it this time. I'll see your ass, though. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Uh -oh, I'm, I'm at the fool. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.